lesson we're going to do an example in calling a function. Now calling a function within another function. So I've written the, ex um, the code here to speed up uh, the typing and we're just going to explain what it does. We've included the library stdo, the header file, so we can um, do an input and output uh, function. Uh, so the input one would be uh, the scanf and the print printf is the output so we've already covered that point the functions that we are uh, declaring one is going to be called get num which is going to be a void type and the other one is going to have an integer type and it's going to be called square it's going to hold another variable x within it and that's going to be an integer type we quickly define the main function now we call get num here and as soon as that's finished um, we'll print at the end end the message end and we put a slash n for starting a new line so that will start a new line here and that's the definition of main we now define get num get num we start off with um, declaring a variable called num it's not holding any value at all and now we're asking the user to enter an integer to be squared that number that the user enters is captured percent d means it's going to be a whole number and it's captured and placed into num we use the and symbol here and num and it puts it into there so now whatever the user enters here it will be captured and placed into num we then have a message saying percent d which is uh, the number that was captured here first one num whatever number it, it, it is um, within the variable called num it will be printed here then we we're entering a text saying square is this the squared is and then we put another number here which is the result of squaring that number using the function called square and it's got that that as well is entered into here so if this was value 3 value 3 would be here and then the, the the result of that squaring the three it will be returned into here okay so that's all very clear so far we're now defining square square uh, the function square is pretty much like we did in the other examples is gonna hold an integer variable x so we're declaring the integer uh, declaring a variable called x within these brackets here and all that's all that's going to do is going to return uh, the value of x times x now x is given by num here because we've entered the word num and so if that was 3 that would be entered as 3 in here which then multiply 3 times 3 and return the result okay so here we see by calling get num in main we are calling two functions at the same time so we're calling get num and inside get num it calls another function called get num uh, sorry square square num okay so uh, square and then it's got num in here which was declared there so that's all very clear so far now what we're gonna do we've saved it we've called it call function dot c we've built it and now we're just gonna test it in here I'm just gonna move the window slightly bigger for you so you can see okay so let's have a look at what happens here we'll call function press enter and it says enter an integer to be squared as you can see and what shall we enter 15 and it says 15 squared is 225 and it prints the end as you can see it says here end we're going to try another number just to test it out we said 3 in the example so we put 3 here and it says 3 squared so 3 times 3 is 9 and it ends ok so that's that example done we're going to now move on to recursive so I've written the code here for a recursive function uh, a recursive function is basically a function that just keeps calling itself over and over again until it ends so there's the example here we started with include stdio.h the library file called studio and we now uh, declare the first function that we're going to use uh, we're only going to do one function here and which is going to repeatedly call itself and it's going to be called countdown from 
okay so it's going to be a counter and that's going to hold an integer value variable x okay we define main uh, function main we declaring a variable called num like just like in the previous examples that we've done okay it has no value and now we're asking the user to enter uh, the integer to count down from and that gets captured by having a whole uh, a whole value um, a whole integer value uh, number percent d if, we, if it was a float number it would be percent f okay and that is uh, added or inserted into num by having the and symbol here and we, we put that number into num so now num is is whatever the user will enter here whatever the user enters it will be inserted into num we now call uh, the function countdown from and that takes in the value uh, num which we which basically is is defined by the user whatever the user puts in here it will be passed into there and now we're going to just basically define that function okay uh, definition of this function it will be holding an integer value x okay the integer value it just we, we've actually declared it here so exactly the same as you can see it's exactly the same as up here okay but now we're defining it so we op we start by having a curly brace we open it up we say printf percent d so printf whatever the value of x is as you can see the value of x is num num the, v the value of num is passed into x the variable called x so it's in here and it's just going to print the number at from the whatever the, the user gave next thing is going to do is going to minus subtract x okay and as soon as x but using this condition here if as soon as x is identical to zero that means as soon as it hits zero it ends it ends this function and it exits yeah and it returns back into the main function here but if it doesn't uh, hit zero it will go to else and it would recall, recall the function again so it will call this again and now the, the value of x is less one because we've subtracted one and say so we'll start if this was 10 and it goes here print 10 and then it will subtract one 10 is not uh, you know nine, now it's 9 x is 9 so 9 is not equal to 0 so it would go to the next line go up here again and then now it's going to be 8 and it's going to go until it hits 0 and that's it but let's just say we want to include it the, we want to include the 0 so we want to see the 0 in our in our example so now we it will go around even as soon as it hits 0 here is going to continue because 0 is not less than 0 and once it's minus 1 so minus 1 is less than 0 so it will exit so it would allow us to see um, the result here so it will actually show us um, the, the 0 so it will count down and it will also print out 0 so now we are just going to compile this build it's completed and now we're just going to go into the prompt again okay let's have a look at what actually happens here we've called this function repeat enter it says enter an integer to count down from we're going to say 13 press enter and it goes 13 all the way to 0 okay just to for completeness we'll do a quick example we'll put equals directly and now we're going to compile this okay so that's done we're going to do it again and see what happens this time if we enter 12 and it only counts to 1 why because x here is identical to 0 as soon as it goes to 0 it stops it doesn't allow it to go back to print the 0 so it would count basically uh, backwards 1 2 3 4 until 12 and it's just it's like a countdown downwards okay so that's that lesson uh, done and we're going to move on to um, functions in custom headers as well as we're going to look at multiple source files